Wow. So you've been saying a lot of synchronicities like 1111 and 222. You've been getting a lot of wild dreams and visions, but when you try to explain it to other people, no one seems to understand. Looks like you need answers. Well, it's a good thing that this video has been sponsored by Keen. Keen provides access to vetted psychics and spiritual advisors who can help to provide guidance and insights on life challenges, clarity in love, relationships, career, and more. Keen is also one of the most affordable ways to get an instant psychic reading by a professional at any time, 24-7. Now when you sign up, you're going to complete a brief questionnaire, which is going to then pair you up with a list of recommended psychics based on your needs. Visit now, trykeen.com slash waterstarvibes. He has a great variety of psychic advisors, including mediums, so you can connect with past loved ones, relationship advice, live tarot card readings, astrologers, and even Spanish-speaking readings. Now, not only do you have the convenience of doing your psychic session from the comfort of your own home, you can also choose how you communicate with your advisor. So you can do a phone reading, you can do an email reading, or my personal favorite, you can do a reading by chat. As a new King customer, you're going to receive your first five minutes for $5. Pricing then depends on which advisor you choose, and then the services are backed up with satisfaction guarantee. Hold on, say one time. Satisfaction guaranteed. Visit trykeen.com slash waterstar vibes to get started. One of the best things about Keen is that you're going to be able to stay in contact with your spiritual advisor or advisors if you choose more than one. And this is good because you're going to be able to build that ongoing relationship. And they're going to be able to help you with monthly intention setting. You know, I would definitely love to accomplish that by the end of the month, but I mean, what do you think? Is it realistic? Oh, good. Also, you got somebody knowledgeable, so when you hit those synchronicities like 222 or 1111, you have somebody who can give you clarity. And also, you got people who are knowledgeable in things that you're going to need to help manifest what you want, such as chakra clearing and chakra balancing. So you got a wide a range of people who are very knowledgeable and who can actually help you manifest the life that you desire. Now, once you sign up and try King, they'll send you weekly emails that include additional promotions like $5 free or buy $10 and get an additional $20 of credit. So if I buy $10, I'll get an additional $20 of credit? I'm down. Now, these promotions make it more affordable to connect with your advisor on an ongoing basis. TryKing.com slash Waterstar Vibes. So take advantage of this promotion right now. That is five minutes for only $5. The link is in my description box. Now, special shout out to Keen. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. You are definitely appreciated. And now, y'all know what time it is. On to your reading. Scorpio, what's good? I literally had to light some incense to this. Let me tell you, as I was getting into you guys' energy space, there was this phrase that came in. I'm borderline, I don't even want to tell you. But I'm going to tell you because I got Scorpio running all through my chart. So I'm not hating at all. But what I heard was, they will bow down to you as master. Is it you? Who do you think you are? Uh, I had the last instance for that because that was just too much. Like what? So whatever whatever your craft is though, as I'm feeling it. So it ain't like you the master of everything, you know? It's just like whatever your craft is, uh, your craft will be your crown. Ooh, speak spirit. Come on now. See, I can already see what this is going to be for the be. Your craft will be your crown. Ooh. And they will bow down to you as master of your craft. I, whatever it is that you do. <sighs> All right, so let's go ahead and let's get into this thing to see what this all can mean. Who will bow down to you as master, okay? And uh, what is it that you're gonna be doing so masterfully? Um, but you know what, before we jump to the traditional tarot, I wanna go into more so your soul space focus on you and then whatever wants to come up. Um, as far as this traditional tarot we'll talk about. All right, so first up, these are the Work Your Light Oracle cards. And we're going to be focusing on your soul space first. And if anybody else wants to step forward, say anything, any channel messages come up, again, we're going to go to the traditional tarot for that. So here we go. Inner Temple. 
You know what? This is where I feel like you are. I feel a more quiet energy with you. Okay, whereas most of the time everything is, you know, it could be like loud, but there are some things that you're doing behind the scenes. Ooh, that's I like that. Uh, the behind the scenes and the the in inner work that you're doing is manifesting physically, but you're still being quiet in a sense. I see you uh, lining things up. It's kind of like um, you know, the video games where. It's like a little, uh, I'm seeing like a little a, a gun or something. And it's like, it's lining up. The target is over there. So I'm seeing it line up. And it got the little circle with the bullseye or whatever. And then boom, it hits the target. And it's like, duh, 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 duh. so it's like you're getting things in position. Things are lining up. But it's first starting with like your spiritual temple first. And this is why, like you tapping and Scorpio, congratulations. But listen, it says devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. This again is why I feel like you're going to be the master of whatever it is that you do because it's coming from your soul. It's coming from your heart. And anytime you're operating from this like grand heart space energy that I'm feeling right now, it's like literally got me melting. It's like you love. You're, you're about to love. You either love what you do or you're about to step into loving what you do because it's coming from your soul. It's like what you was born to do and probably what you was doing on the other side before you got here. Probably what you've been doing for lifetimes is what you do. But it's coming from your heart. So they have to call you master. Let's see what else. Ooh, transformation. And this will change the game. I mean, uh, they say practice makes perfect, right? So... Yeah, they say, y'all, you can't be perfect and da 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 But you seem to be trying to perfect your craft. So it's not uh, perfect, but you're trying to perfect, if that makes sense. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't mean you can't perfect. Sure, it's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't mean you can't perfect. You feel what I mean? So transformation. Anyway, things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Okay, when we talk about at the cellular level, again, you're rearranging things in the energetic realm. You're realigning maybe your goals, your dreams, your visions. You're aiming, right? For a lot of you guys, you could be aiming higher. Um, but something is changing. And again, that, that cellular level, that inner temple type energy, it's all coming from within. You're going to be exuding. It's like your, your insides are going to be on the outside. To display and your insides are beautiful it's like um, I'm seeing a showroom gallery at an art like bistro or something I don't know an art gallery and it's like these are all of the paintings of your inside it's just all these beautiful works of art for people to understand you okay so you know your insides will be on display I don't know it may come through like your clothes, your style. It may come through, you know, whatever it is, whatever, whatever you do, it's going to shine through. All right. And they will call you master. Let us see. Let us see. Let's go to the center of the reading. Let's see what else this is talking about. Ooh, the five of swords. But don't you get taken advantage of. That's the first thing I got with this. Oh, they can see your light. Oh, they can see your light. And they want to take off. But they want to benefit. You got people. I just heard Bam Wagon. Ooh. What are you doing, Scorpio? Yeah. But don't get. Don't. Okay. New level, new devil. New offers, new deals, new, new um, like assignments. Okay, this is what I need you to do. And you do it, but you don't, you know, maybe, the, I don't know, it's, it's uh, fine print. I'm saying that as well. But you know what? If you if you stay in tune to the portal of your heart, you're going to be able to um, spiritually make moves. I'm seeing some of you guys making moves, dodging bullets, and you didn't even know it. Uh, this is that whole... If you if you knew all the things that God protected you from and you didn't even know it, like you'd be shocked. Blah, blah, blah. It's that kind of energy. Like if you only knew all the times that you could have got got, but you didn't get got because you had an angel, you had somebody praying for you, you had God watching over you, all of that. But it's like it's going to lead into the next level. So you need to continue to give thanks and be grateful for your for your ancestors, for for God, for protection, for the angels, because this new realm, new level, new devil. 
Oh, mm -hmm. this is why you have to stay in tune with your core. That power of discernment is also going to have a big transformation. You, you're a water sign. You know what it is. That intuition, um, those dreams will heighten. You will get them sensations, them intuitive downloads. Boy, that crown chakra will start spinning. Your ears will start ringing. All this kind of stuff is heightened. Woo! The hermit, what I tell you, but you're still quiet. It's still quiet. I told you I got quiet energy with you. Inner temple, devotion, we quiet, we inside. Because that's where all the answers are. All right? It's going to help you make these moves. You're about to play chess. You already know. Because, like, even if you don't know right now, forwardly, in this forward mind, you already know subconsciously. And this is why you're going there. I just heard Akashic Records as well. Some of you guys will be learning um, about the Akashic Records. You will be, like, going to the Akashic Records to look at other lives where you've done what you wanted to do, where, where you fulfill the things that you want to fulfill and accomplish the things you wanted to accomplish. And by being by the whole, here's the whole book and the whole script of what you did in that life and how you did it and everything. And then you bring it back to this earth and by the boom, you're here. But right now, we got to go in to do that. You're becoming very, very enlightened. That's where this transformation is taking place. You know what you do in the spirit realm is what's going to manifest. And you're about to, it's like you're giving birth to an art gallery. And all of you is on display. Okay? And it's a beautiful art gallery. Let's see what's in the um, deep root of things. Ah, five of Cups. So there's some regret. There's some sadness. There's some leaving behind of some baggage, of some people. This is not easy. It did not come easy. And it, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, it's not going to be easy moving forward. But you know how the game go. I forgot. I think I, I forgot what sign it was, but I was getting a vision. I'm getting the same vision with you of a video game. If this was a game and you had to beat each level, what do you have to do to get to the next level? You have to go through the challenge, right? And then you get to the championship. So you go through challenge after challenge after challenge. Then you got to go to the biggest challenge. You got to defeat King Koopa, right? Then you get to the championship. But don't mean that it was, that it's easy. So some of you guys could have to be like going within to pull yourself. Um, some people may be in like a depressive state. Some people could be in a very anxious state, a worried state of being. Some of you guys could be quiet right now. Uh, withdrawn from other people and you may feel this transformation taking place and I just heard it may hurt the transformation may hurt okay uh, I'm saying something about like like a mutation like you're you're mutate like all your bones that this is my this is creepy I'm gonna tell you anyway all your bones are breaking and everything and you're mutating they readjust but they readjust to something else and you look normal but you're a new creature like your whole structure is changing and it could hurt. Um, but this, again, this is in spirit form. So it's like, you know, people don't understand. People may not get your moves, okay? But you know what it is. Let's see. Let's talk about this uh, five of cups. I want to talk about it. Ooh, three of coin. You know what I'm hearing, too? So people want to work with you or be around you. You have, um, it could even be like past love. But people want to work with you. People want to be around you, but they feel like they can't. Um, someone is sad or regretful because uh, Three of Pentacles talks about work opportunities. It talks about uh, collaboration. Um, it talks about networking, strategizing, coming together to create a plan that's going to be lucrative for the future. But it seems as though if this is not your energy, this is someone crying about not having the opportunity to work with you or to be a part of, um, this can even be like uh, teamwork, okay? Teamwork, team building. It could be actually at work, like somebody may have lost their job. Um, but this is also like in connection with you. So if you were like uh, a coworker or if y'all have some type of project together, I just heard someone missed out. So someone feels like they missed out on maybe something you were doing. Um, and it could have been because you were in tune with your soul, because you were in tune, you were uh, becoming a new creature, a new species, right? You saw this deception or you saw this every man for themselves energy or you saw this, I'm going to get away with what I can get away with energy and you were able to deflect it. Um, you went hermit, you went quiet, okay? 
And now by the time the person looked up, you know, look at this, three of coins, I missed out. Five of cups, I'm hurt, I'm sad, I'm regretful, I'm in pain. But if this is not your energy, it takes this hurt and this pain for other people to transform as well. Someone else may be quiet in their own inner temple and going through their own devotion process to get themselves together because they, I feel like somebody's uh, back is against the wall right now. Someone's back is against the wall and it hurts. It's a lot of pressure. I'm feeling someone's back against the wall. So it's the pressure of your back against the wall. But then there's like this force that's pushing into the wall. So it's coming from the front too. So it's a chest uh, pressure and a back pressure at the same time. It's coming from like both sides. So someone is feeling some type of pressure and it hurts. But, you know, I guess some about pressure makes diamonds. Is that right? Let's see. Let's see what happened in the recent past. It's heavy too. I'm just... I'm trying to breathe like somebody is like it's like if someone is crying it's that the heavy chest energy okay now if this is you it's for your own soul's growth you're getting somewhere okay if this is another party they're getting somewhere too but it's like you're moving forward and this transformation has already taken place you've already been through this process like been there done that I know I, I wrote the book on it I'm gone Go and check the Akashic Records for that because I didn't already, I didn't already printed that up, you know? Let's see. Recent past. Ugh, Ten of Swords. Yikes. So, yeah, you saw something coming. And, again, I'm getting that you dodged the bullet like you did the Matrix on them, like, for real. Um, five of Swords energy, every man for himself. Every woman for himself. doesn't have to be, you know, romantic. Um, it could be romantic, like, where you were dealing with someone who was just looking for what they can get or looking for, you know, to get in where they fit in, or what's in it for me, what about my benefits, okay, what are you going to do to, to make me happy, or that kind of stuff, and you, you saw, you saw something coming, uh, in your vision, in your meditation, in your dreams, you saw something, and you dodged a bullet, and ten of swords, you, you, you killed it before, before it even started, or even if it already started, you um, went within to learn how to maneuver. And I think right now, Spirit is really trying to get you to understand that that's where it's at. Can you keep trusting me in that area of devotion, of prayer? I will give you the answers. I will give you refuge if you come hide in me. That's what I'm hearing. Seek me and I will hide you. And a lot of you are really coming to that point like, yeah, man, I really can play chess and make moves. If I go hermit, um, this is like, yeah, nobody's arguing here. Nobody's fighting no more. The fight is not yours or something. Or the battle is not yours or something like that. Like y'all really turning it over. I just heard turning over a new leaf. You got other people turning over a new leaf. Oh, mm, is this why they call you master? That's what I got at the beginning. Look at the way that that, can you see that? The way that that woman is sitting on that throne with that scepter. And they shall call you master. You know, like, wow, that's beautiful. But again, it's like you're sparkling on the outside because you went in, what you went and did on the inside. Oh, that hermit mode is a mother. Mother nature. <laughs> mother Gaia. What? Okay, what's crowning this whole thing? Oh, the world. Mm. Maybe some of y'all will be known all over the world. Uh, yeah, if you go into that Akashic Records especially, maybe that's what you're looking up. Like, how can I be the master? How can I be the best in the world? Ooh. Some of y'all want to do something and you want to be the best in the world. That's a heck of a dream, Scorpio. You want to be the best in the world. I love the depiction. Like, stick your chest out. Chuck your chin up. Another sign got the same card in the exact same space. The energy is out there for grabs. Who want it? You want to be the best in the world? Then do what you got to do to do it. Because if that's what was like a part of your cell in the DNA, if that's where you went to the portal of your heart and that's what you saw, then do it. 
You know, it's time. The energy is there. Go ahead. Oh, I like that. But let's see what you got to do to be the best. What you got to do to be the best in the world. Major Arcana, the master. Oh, longing for home. Belonging, the original light workers. You know what I'm feeling with this? Um, alone. Can you, can, did you peep that? Number one, right? How many people standing there? Can y'all see that? I don't know. But that's one person standing there. So if you feel alone, how many people get to stand on top of the world? One. How many people are sitting on that throne? One. How many people tuned into the portal of their heart? One, you, you can only, you're the only one sitting right there going into it. Can't, she can't meditate and go, well, she probably could if she was that advanced, but you know, you got to be able to do that for yourself. And that's what you did. Nobody's sitting there meditating for you going into the portal of your heart, trying to find your, all oh, this and that right now. Okay. Nobody's doing that for you. You're doing that for yourself and it's working. But anyway, uh, so if you feel alone or you felt like you had to do a lot of stuff alone, Again, this is a conversation between you and God. They can see their way out of it, you know? So it's not for everybody. Some of these uh, downloads, some of this information, some of the reasoning why you make the moves that you make is not up for debate. It's not up to them. They don't get to say so because it's a conversation between you and Allah. Period. Okay? You the one who went up to the Akashic Records, you read the book, you did the meditation, you know what it is that you wanted to do, you was the best in the world at it or you're becoming the best in the world at it and that's it period so whoever comes because again i'm feeling this here this is the one like because it's not a question that what i'm what i'm hearing what i'm feeling like it's not a question scorpio you got the juice you got the sauce you got the potential to be the best in the world now some people watch this who are the best in the world at what they could have done are in the grave. I hope you got that. So just because you're getting a confirmation that you're the best in the world and you can be the master of what you were born to do, the master of your mission, don't mean you're going to do it. That's the difference now. Don't get big headed and go take a nap. No. Go to work. Go get to work on your assignment. Anyway, long after home. Some of y'all, um, when you, some of y'all, if you feel lonely, keep meditating, keep going to those other realms. I'm telling you, you'll, it'll, it'll, it'll change you. It'll transform you. You bored? Go meditate. Go, go ask. Ask her, take me. Can I go on a field trip? Can you take me on my trip? Show me some real quick. Anyway, let's talk about it. Let's talk about the near future, what's coming up. Oh, but anyway, to answer the question, what do you have to do to be the best in the world? You're going to have to do, do it alone, okay? But not do it alone like, oh, you're the only person who can do it. Uh, you're the, this is basically saying you're the only one who can bring it out, okay? You're the only one because you're the one who was given that vision. So you're the only one who can bring it to pass, okay? So if it's going to be a canvas and a pile of paint and you have a vision in your head, you... Go ahead and draw it, you know? This is what you're going to do, or paint it, or whatever, okay? This is your thing. Let's see what's going on in the near future, what's coming up. The Two of Cups. Now, a partnership and true love. You know what, too? I love the Two of Cups because it talks about the equality, the two become one, the soulmate energy. You have a partner in crime. You have a partner who's going to help you. Now, this is all going back to the world card. The world card talks about completions of cycles. It talks about things being done. One phase of life being over with and a brand new phase of cycle beginning. Part of some of you guys' mission is already done. And part of the mission was getting to where you are alone. Phase two may involve two of you. So for those who are still alone, keep rocking your aloneness. Keep rocking, you know, the master of what you're doing on your own. And you just might, you just might 
not have to long for home or feel like you need a place to belong because that partnership, that one who understands you from a soul level, probably the same one that come from the same soul tribe as you, comes into the picture. I just heard with or without you. This is what I this is what I mean too. Wow. So some of you guys have to get it so clear in your mind that with people or without people, I'm the original light worker. And I know what I was sent here to do. So if I do it with an army or if I do it by myself, it's going to get done. I feel like that type of attitude is about to be rewarded with partnerships, with equality, with people who understand, with people who get it. And most importantly, with love. Oh my God, the love vibe is so strong, Scorpio. But that's because you're doing what you love. So you're attracting more love. Let's see what's going on in your fears or in someone else's fears who may be trying to uh, tap in. The nine of cups. Whoa. So it's all about dreams. It's all about maybe even like having good luck or someone looks at you like you're lucky. Okay. Um, this is accomplishing those goals. It's like my dreams are on the line. Uh, I just heard intimidated too. Some of you guys that hold, uh, I'm going to be the best in the world. Like to know that you actually can, that's maybe a little intimidating to somebody to know that, you know, you can be the master of your craft and you can do something that amazing and that big and that grand. Maybe that's a little intimidating. Okay. Now at the same time, uh, this could also be, like, let's say this every man for himself type energy, no matter who this was, a past love, um, looking out for myself, trying to do what's best for me. Um, I don't care about what you got going on. Maybe, uh, look at that, the two nines, right? This nine was like, okay, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to go into my shell. And then boom, the fear is, do, do I smell um, your dreams coming true, Scorpio? Scorpio, um, you kind of quiet over there. I can't really take advantage of what I can't see or what I don't know. Um, I can't really, you know, uh, steal or, or be every man for myself if I don't know what I need for myself from you, you know? Um, you're, and again, we talk about this a lot on this channel. The power of silence, uh, driving people crazy or insane. Um, the power of cutoff, going within to know who to stay away from. Seeing lies and deceptions a mile ahead and being able to, you know, beat people at their own game. Boy, that is power. There is power. And um, that's what I'm getting. Maybe this is for one or two of you all. Someone who tried to deceive you or tried to get over on you or who thought they was getting away with something. This is one of the people who will call you master. But not because, oh, again, you gravy grand and da da da. But because you, you get, like, how did you know that? Scorpio, like, how you know I was about to do that? Like, didn't I smile on your face good enough? Wasn't my lie good enough? Like, and, and look at you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. You was you was playing the role too. Look at you smiling back in my face like you ain't know what I was doing the whole time. You, I'm thinking I'm fooling you. You fooling me the whole time. Why? How? You the master. You the you the, you the girl. You the, you the, you the man girlfriend or whoever. You the man, bro. Like, how did you know? But that's because you, boy, you got that intel. You got that insight. Oh, this wants to jump out. Wow. Five of coins. Lack. Financial lack. Uh, sorrow. Can you see that picture? A person's on their knees crying, looking at water. That's uh, about to be evaporated. It's about to be gone. And there's nothing there. Like... Oof. Again, someone feels like they missed out. And then, like, it's it's funny how this is because we have the five here. When someone was out for themselves, you got somebody with some clothes on. And in this, <laughs> I just heard, buck her naked. In this depiction, it's like this is their transformation. Your transformation is more like butterfly, you know, from, um, from caterpillar to butterfly. This is more like... Uh, from riches to rags, like the reverse, okay? It's like, I'm getting away with what I'm doing, okay? I have the upper hand, I have the advantage. 
I am getting away with something, okay? That's that energy. But then here it's just kind of like, oh, Scorpio, you figured me out. Five of coins, lack. It's money lack, too. Uh, again, connected to this three of coins. Projects, promotion, co-worker, team building, networking, advancement, promotion, okay? Boss supervisor type stuff, okay? Again, someone missing out. Bro, do we got the five, five, five? Do we got the five, five, five? Yes, we do. We got change, change, change. A change is a him. Somebody did not see these changes coming. I just heard someone didn't expect you to advance so quickly. Ooh. Because today I got time. Yes, today somebody thought they had some time. But that clock stopped way faster than they anticipated. Mm. Mm. It's like somebody, I'm seeing somebody going on the court. They're going hard. Boy, they have to cross and break angles, everything. And they get ready to shoot. Next thing you know, ah, and they're standing up with the ball like, what? What? Shot clock ran out, idiot. You out there showboating and doing all that dumb stuff. The whole shot clock done ran out. Yeah. Time has expired way faster. Before you can even get a shot off. Ooh. Because that's what we was talking about here. Before, before I can even get a shot off, you already caught me. Like, wow. Stay on top of your game, Scorpio. Stay on top of your game. Let's see what uh, what is the hope. Ooh, the tower. Mm, for it all to come crashing down. Or just to let things either explode in someone's face, which is mean. Or, you know, maybe someone get a dose of that home medicine. Or people just creating their own towers, right? So maybe you want this huge change, all right? But this huge change would cause for someone else to have a tower. Um, if it was this person, five of swords energy here, let's say someone trying to, again, gain the upper hand on you, um, take advantage of you any kind of way. It's like, hermit mode, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to hone in on what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. And then, boom, you'll get a taste of your own medicine. Uh, things will blow up in your face, okay? And it looks like it did. I'm really seeing this, like, as your hopes came true. Not to say that you're sitting around just hoping for people's downfall and demise. But it's kind of like you emerged victoriously. Ooh, the devil. Mm. Devoured. Somebody's about to be devoured. But if it but it's their own doing, okay? I feel like in this season, like, like somebody ain't planning on the other side, whether it's the ancestors. Somebody, somebody's not planning no more. Like people, I just heard fall on their butt. People finna go on their butts, bro. It's finna be a, a show. It's going to be a spectacle to see. Let's see how this thing all ends, this next little transit. Ooh, the four staffs. Can you believe that? Come on now. Two of cups, four staffs. We're talking about soulmate. We're talking about soulmate. You know how many beautiful relationships it's about to be? And look at that. On top of the transformation. This is another thing that you're changing at the core. We're tired of the drama of relationships, of the, the you know, the busting windows, flashing tires. Like, those type of relationships are about to to cease for people of peace, for the light workers, for the empaths. It's like you're about to be blessed with the real deals of people who get it, people who understand, people who speak your language. No more of these people. No more of these situationships, okay? No more of the every man for themselves because people who, I don't know, it's just like the real is about to step in. The real deals i keep getting them like that the real deals this is for reals you know what i'm saying maybe the stuff that's out of this world maybe the feelings and sensations that you stop believing in you know but it's all coming back because i feel like um the empaths coming together or the light workers coming together is going to create a better spark or a, a higher vibration that maybe we've never even seen before two people linking up uh in their energy and their vibes uh, match so strong that they create a new vibe that never even existed on this planet. And it manifests in different ways, like new products that they come up with together. 
or, you know, maybe new, um, I don't know, movies that you write together, you know, things that have never been done before, things that we've never seen before, scripts we've never seen, or, uh, you know, movies or whatever, or recipes. You guys may come together and cook and have recipes together and come up with a dish that hasn't, you know, been in existence yet, all right? Four stars, we talk about Twin Flame Energy as well. Again, with that partnership, with that equality, you got your thing, I got mine, um, and we either do something together to produce an empire or, you know, separately, we are masters of our own craft, okay? And we meet in the middle, more so soulmate energy, okay? So that's why I feel like it's important, too, to make sure you're doing what you're doing. And so whoever this is that's coming in, they'll be doing what they're doing, too. And together, y'all will be masters of your own craft. But regardless of if anybody comes in, if anybody stays, if anybody leaves, you got to make sure you doing what you doing. Because whatever it is that you do, you got the potential to be the best in the world. You dig? So that's what I get for you, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares. I appreciate you guys so much. If you are not one of my subscribers, I would love to have you as one. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at Wirestar Vibes. All right. Now, if you need a personal reading, go ahead, take a look in the description box to see how you should list and format your questions. Then email me, waterstarvibes at gmail.com. Okay. So Scorpio, once again, that's what I get for you. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in your next video.